Your Excellency, the situation looks extremely serious. Thank you, Ueno. Inform Swordfish One to stand by. I'll see to the wounded shortly. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Kokumi! How have you been? Ah, uh, Captain of Swordfish Two. Glad to have you back on Watatsumi Island. I would have liked to have given you a grand reception, but... As you can see... What's going on? Not long ago, I hosted the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri. It's the most important ceremony on Watatsumi Island. I'm guessing you'll have heard about it from Tsuyuko? What? How did you know we were the ones helping out Tsuyuko this whole time? Ahem. <clears throat> Tsuyuko is one of the more conscientious Shrine Maidens of Sangonomiya. I knew that handing off the planning of the ceremony to her would play to her strengths. Based on her description of the person who took the commission, it was quite obviously you. This is all starting to sound pretty suspicious. Anyway, I'm sure Tsuyuko will have told you that the Watatsumi Goryo ceremony is a ceremony to reverse the holy soil phenomenon on Watatsumi Island. It's a bleaching process that slowly turns the earth to holy soil, leaving the land infertile and devastating agricultural production. Granted, crops aren't our staple food on Watatsumi Island, but I can't allow external forces to drastically alter the people's diet, and we certainly shouldn't be overly reliant on imports. Uh, Hyman doesn't quite follow. Imagine all you had to eat from now on was radishes. No more fish or meat. Clearer now? <gasps> that would be terrible! The issue began with the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri. I did not miss a single step during the ritual, and there's no question that the blood branch coral you retrieved was infused with the Omikami's power. But it didn't reverse the holy soil phenomenon as expected. Instead it just... paused. This has never happened before in history. This is ultimately a matter of Watatsumi Island's survival, so I sent as many people as I could spare to Enkanomiya to investigate the situation. The news from Stingray 3 was that all of Enkanomiya is engulfed in a darkness that cannot be dispelled. Additionally, there have also been reports of monsters, the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Strange monsters? And an all-engulfing darkness? That's all that Stingray 3 has reported. Their investigation otherwise has yielded no useful information. And the unforgiving environment has caused many casualties so far. I have sent several rescue teams already, but so far, the situation does not look promising. It brings me no pleasure to have to ask, but on behalf of all of Watatsumi Island, I beseech you, please, lend us your assistance one more time. <laughs> Please don't joke around. But thank you for once again agreeing to put your life on the line for the sake of our island. Now, please, come with me to meet Tsuyuko. Your Excellency, Traveler. I did wonder. Hope you're both having a wonderful date so far. <clears throat> Cut the comedy, Tsuyuko, or I may have to have you and Naki switch posts next year. In which case, you'd be in charge of Spectre Eco Management on Watatsumi Island. No need. No need, I'll stop. So, since the two of you are here together, I assume it's about Enkanomiya? this in on what's been going on. Hmm, Kokomi. <laughs> right. Well, as I'm sure Her Excellency has told you, an ominous darkness has completely engulfed in Kanomiya. At the same time, strange humanoid monsters have appeared when the place should be completely deserted. Humanoid... monsters? Armor that can move on its own. 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but we're not talking about one spook soldier hallucinating in the darkness. All the wounded who returned to Sangonomia have described seeing the same thing. On top of this, even ordinary enemies seem to grow much stronger in the darkness. That's why Stingray 3 has sustained so many casualties. There's one other thing that the returning soldiers have mentioned. They say a shrine maiden who calls herself Sumi has been helping to treat the wounded. Sumi? Hmm. I don't recall there being any record of a shrine maiden by that name in Sangonomiya. That's the thing. There isn't one. But she held something called a Sento ceremony, which managed to keep a small area in the very center of Enkanomiya brightly lit. Thanks to her, the wounded soldiers have a safe zone where they can recuperate. Sento. Hmm. I've seen this term in the Deep Sea Healing Arts Compendium. But it's a ceremony that only works in Enkanomiya, so it was never brought to Atatsumi Island. I'd love to meet this Tsumi, but right now... Helping the wounded has to be my top priority. Your Excellency, even if you had no duties at all right now, there's still no way we'd let you go down there. Enkanomiya is exceedingly dangerous right now. Only preeminent warriors like the Traveler and Paimon should venture there. Yep, absolutely, a hundred percent. This is a job only we can handle. Yeah. <laughs> We've worked together plenty of times in the past, after all. Hmm. Do you have any other information about Tsumi? It was mentioned that she wears a strange mask that covers the upper half of her face. How interesting. What is she trying to hide? Hmm. Your Excellency, in my humblest of opinions, Sumi has shown nothing but goodwill so far. Since the situation is so critical, we don't have the resources to make other defense arrangements and cast suspicion on our allies. Hmm. I see what you mean. I have instructed Swordfish One to proceed to Enkanomiya and continue evacuating the wounded. Traveler, you can go with them. Swordfish One will escort you to the camp at the center of Enkanomiya. Also, please, take this with you. What's this? Looks like a missing piece of something. It's just a little trinket. When you are faced with a difficult choice, it might be able to help you. Your Excellency, uh, but isn't that... Watatsumi Island doesn't need it anymore. Besides... Both of the other two pieces are in Enkanomiya. If we're lucky enough, this could be our chance to reunite them. Understood, Your Excellency. Okay. Emergency measures to hold the Three Realms Gateway offering now underway. Hmm. I apologize for the trouble. Now please excuse me. I need to tend to the wounded. Please, see Ueno once you're ready. Right now, emerge, right here. Are you ready to venture into the Dark Shroud of Enconomia? Please make sure you are fully prepared. Are you ready to venture into the Dark Shroud of Enconomia? All right. Here's hoping I have the chance. Next year, I'm going to apply for Swordfish 1 to be redeployed into Spectre Management. Because if it's that, or spend more time in Enconomia, I'll take my chance with the Spectres. Those armor monsters, closing in on you. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Uh, totally understand. 
Anyway, we should be safe for now. There shouldn't be any more danger from here on out. Hey, what's up? It's Yabe, the Yard Guy from Stingray 3. You seem kind of chipper compared to all the other soldiers. Do I? <laughs> well, I've pretty much always loved horror stories and ghost stories and stuff, ever since I was a kid. This trip to Enkonomiya is something else, though. Totally mind-blowing. Super fun. 10 out of 10 would come again. Uh, totally do not understand. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's pretty sweet to have the chance to come to Enkonomiya. I actually kind of wanted to look into the Bunkoku puzzle while I'm here. It's the first of the four great puzzles of Enkonomiya. Yeah, please don't do that. We're the ones that'll have to come rescue you. All right, well, never mind that. There's a makeshift camp at the top of those steps over there. Yeah, you should head up and catch some rest if you haven't been there yet. Emerge. Right now. Right here. <laughs> hey, look! A shrine maiden taking care of the wounded! That must be Sumi, right? You are... different from all the others. Are you human? Well, he is, obviously. Just not a native of Watatsumi Island, that's all. And you? A human hatchling? Oh, really? Because I thought that humans lose the ability to fly when they reach adulthood, just like the bathysmal bishops lose the ability to see in color when they reach maturity. Sumi, you seem to know a lot about bishops. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, the wounded soldiers mentioned you. Oh. Greetings. My name is Ueno, acting Captain of Swordfish One. We're here to evacuate the wounded and support the Traveler's investigation. Swordfish One needs to rest and reorganize before commencing the evacuation. I'll see you later. So you're here to help resolve this, hmm? Very well. It's taking all the energy I have to keep this light shining. I don't have the strength to try and combat the spreading darkness, too. Uh, do you understand what's going on? The Void Realm is invading. The people of Byakuyakoku believe that there are three realms. The Bishop Realm, the Human Realm, and the Void Realm. The darkness spreading in Enkonomiya comes from the Void Abyss. Neither bishops nor humans can endure it. But... Don't Bethysmal bishops like the dark? No. They hate the light. But only because down here in the depths, the presence of light signifies human activity. In fact, the bishop realm is the realm of pure primordial elemental beings. It's actually referred to as the light realm in most books. The seven sovereigns of the Light Realm are the seven foremost elemental dragons at the pinnacle of the raw and primitive elemental forces. So that's why Suyuko called this the Three Realms Gateway Offering. Three Realms Gateway Offering. Not far off the mark, actually. But technically, I think it should be called the Triangle Gateway Offering. Because the source of the darkness from the void is the three towers at the corners of Enkonomiya's triangular borders. Oh, the three towers! The ones where we did those trials! You've been there before? That's a long story. Oh. By the way, Sumi, what's up with the weird mask? To hide my face. It has to do with some things that happened as I was growing up. I just... Does that make me untrustworthy in your eyes? No, not at all! You've been helping the wounded all this time. Everyone must be super grateful to you. It's just that... Can't say I really understand what you're talking about. Anyway... If you want to rid this darkness from Enkonomiya, you can come to me for guidance. 
Of course. If you can trust me. I'm going inside to tend to the wounded and check in with the new arrivals. Please excuse me. What are we gonna do? Paimon really wants to trust Sumi, but... <sighs> oh, how about we go ask the wounded? Greetings. Hello. We'd like to ask you about the masked shrine maiden, Tsumi. Because of her strange mask? Well, you've come to the right person. Cool. I was one of the first people that she rescued. Straight away, I thought there was something very weird going on. Who is this shrine maiden who knows the lost ceremonies of Enkanomiya? And why is she covering her face with a mask? So I started pestering her about it. I wasn't going to let up until I got an answer. And? There weren't so many people around at the time, so eventually she let me look behind the mask. It was actually pretty normal for the most part. There's just one thing she's trying to hide. Her eyes have snake-like pupils, thin vertical lines. Wow, weren't you scared? I probably would have been if every Watatsumi Islander wasn't so familiar with our legends, or, or I should say, our history. The first familiars of the Watatsumi Omikami were the vassals of Watatsumi. Legend has it that they are a half-human, half-snake kind who helped our ancestors fight back the Bathysmal bishops. They were said to have disappeared long ago. But then Sumi showed up, and as soon as I saw her snake eyes, I instinctively trusted her. It's like the vassals have returned to help us in our moment of need. Huh. I'm no expert by any means, but I think Tsumi can be trusted. Hello, what can I help you with? Hi there! We wanted to ask you what you know about the masked shrine maiden, Tsumi! I see, I see. What are you looking to know exactly? I've tried asking if she's seeing anyone, you know, or whether she's looking right now, but she seems pretty tight-lipped about her love life. That's not what we meant at all. Uh, we were more wondering, do you think there's anything suspicious about her? Suspicious, huh? Suspicion, the unknowable, the unpredictable. Unexplored territory. Mysterious? Enigmatic? Enchanting. Bewitching. Compelling. Addicting. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? I am being serious. Okay, look. If I had to pick one thing about her that's suspicious, I'd say... Okay, two things. Number one, her mask. It's pretty scary. I don't know why she chose it. Number two, some kind of pendant fell out of her sleeve when she was bandaging me up. It looked like it was a broken off piece of something, so maybe when you put them together, it makes a hole. Huh, maybe the other half is held by Tsumi's lifelong sweetheart. Hmm, sounds like you hit the nail on the head, so, you know, maybe ease off a little, bro? Resting. Um, let's not disturb them. I don't think we've got enough answers now. Let's find somewhere to recap what we know so far. Zumi's just inside the room. It'd be a bit awkward I if she hears us talking about her behind her back. Zumi's mask hides her snake eyes, which the people of Watatsumi Island believe to be a distinguishing feature of Orabaxi's vassals. Based on her actions, it seems like all she wants to do is protect the people of Watatsumi Island. And from what she said, she's doing everything she can to combat the darkness spreading in Enkanomiya. So she seems pretty trustworthy. Then let's go talk to her about working together. Emerge. Emerge. 
right now. So, how's it going? Have you made a decision? Yep! Let's team up to tackle the darkness! Okay. Then take this. It's called the Bokuso Box. I found it in the Dainichi Mikoshi when I was looking for a solution. Actually, the Dainichi Mikoshi was where I found the method and tools for the Sento ceremony. Lucky I can read human writing. Uh, why wouldn't you be able to? Or did you mean it's lucky that you can read the ancient Enkanamian script? Oh, uh, nothing. I just meant the script in the Deep Sea Healing Arts Compendium. I don't actually know if it's ancient or modern. Never mind all that. Let's get back to business. The Bokuso box collects light. It can dispel the darkness from the void within a small radius. So, for example, with the power of the Bokuso box, you can turn monsters affected by the darkness back into their original forms. As it happens, there are some monsters causing trouble around the camp. Go and try out the Bokuso box on them. I will join you shortly. You bet! We were the ones who went and got the Blood Branch Coral that one time, after all! <gasps> you... So, you... Uh, what's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> if what you say is true, then I'm sure you'll be able to conquer the Three Border Towers quite easily. Also, there are a few things I need to explain to you. According to what I have read, the fundamental purpose of the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri is to use the Serpent God's life force to awaken its second familiars, the Senga Koralia. They are creatures that break down raw, primitive elemental energy into the milder elemental energy of the human realm. The giant coral is a symbol that the Senga Koralia have been awakened by the serpent's blood. The mass awakening of the Senga Koralia causes a transformation in the ecological environment of Enkonomiya. Makes sense. Even if you took away the darkness and the monsters, Enkonomiya would still look pretty different now with all the new plants and ore around. Things are even more complicated than usual this time. The darkness from the Void Realm seems to be suppressing things in the Light Realm and the Human Realm, causing them to come to a standstill. You may need to use the power of the Bokuso box to dispel the darkness and allow the ecological transformation to continue. Please, try to solve the problem using the Bokuso box. I'll wait for an update for you under the statue over there.
right now. It seems that you have mastered the Bokuso box. Now, let me tell you about the ultimate purpose of this operation. As I said, we need to proceed to the three towers on Inkonomiya's borders. They're towers of the void, restored to their original form by a certain Abyss adherent. Abyss adherent? Wait, do you mean... He's a purveyor of incessant nonsense. Somehow he found out about the three realms and the three corners, and brought those things in using Abyssal technology. Then, he started disseminating Abyssal energy using the towers. This caused great suffering for both the Senga Coralia and the Bethysmal Bishops. I don't know why he's doing this. For us, the Abyss is highly toxic. For them, intoxicating is more the word. Addictive, but still destructive. Maybe he just likes to toy with people and stab them in the back. Paimon knows exactly who you're talking about. You know him? <laughs> then it seems we have a common enemy. Oh, you bet we do! To get rid of the darkness, you need to climb to the very top of the Towers of the Void and activate the Light Realm Chisel, which will let in the energy of the Light Realm. In Enkonomiya, the Ley Lines of the Human Realm, the Elemental Currents of the Light Realm, and the Dark Currents of the Void Realm are all exceptionally strong. Also, I only performed the Sento Ceremony going off the steps in the book, but I believe the key to the ceremony is the statue in front of us. You can offer crystals of Light Realm energy to it to increase the Bokuso Box's power. Also, resting here can restore the Box's energy. Please, take this hand-drawn map. I've marked out the locations of the three towers for you. You'll need to explore one step at a time, and I'd recommend you start with this tower. Well, that's as much help as I can offer you. I'll be waiting here for the good news. Okay, we're ready to roll! Um, but how do we get the towers to link up? Let's look for clues nearby! No, sir.
Time to go. Yeah. Momentary destruction. The wind knows me. We probably have to use the controller again for the second tower. with nature. Time to go. The wind knows me.
to the wind. Follow the wind. Time to go. Right now. Emerge. Right now. I must remain calm. The wind knows. Emerge. Right here. Emerge. Everybody stand back! Torn to oblivion! Right now. Time to go. Huh. One with nature. <sighs> Into 
the wind. I can tell. It looks like all three towers have been successfully taken care of. The evacuation is now going much more quickly, thanks to the improved environmental conditions. Most of the soldiers have gotten out. But it seems like something happened that I hadn't foreseen. Please, come with me. Logically speaking, all of Enkanomiya should be back to normal by now. Unfortunately, this place has now become the most dangerous of all. I don't know why this is happening or what to do about it. But what I can tell you is the location of the guy behind all of this. I'm going to have to ask you to confront him and make him reveal his whole plan. How did this happen? I've been observing the flow of the darkness and I've noticed something peculiar. And there was a faint vortex continuously absorbing the darkness. I can only assume that the flow must be triggered by his need for abyssal energy. He's extremely dangerous. Even most bishops would be no match for him. Music to my ears. Thank you. If I have deduced correctly, he should be in the library area right now. but it's really not that surprising. Look at you, venturing out into the darkness, doggedly fighting your way through just to come and see me. You're the only person I can think of who could actually pull that off. Still, what's with you joining forces with them? Didn't expect that. You're just trying to stall for time with small talk again. Huh. I guess maybe you're not so clued up after all. Uh, look, I understand that seeing me has gotten you a little agitated, but frankly, the fact that you're still so fired up and raring to go after the long journey here is a bit of a problem for me. So, let's burn off that excess energy with a little exercise, huh? Just to calm you down enough to hear me out. Emerge right now. Wind strike. As one with wind and cloud. There is no escape. Right here. Emerge. Teamwork is dreamwork. Right here. Emerge. Right now. Now you shall perish. Emerge. Right here. Right now. Nothing lasts forever. Illusion shattered. 
Come on out. Right here. Wind strike. Inazuma shines eternal. Stop, stop. Oh, my life is flashing before my eyes. That woman with the slender pupils, what does she call herself? Huh? How do you know about her? Her name, what is it? Huh. She calls herself Sumi. <laughs> that reptilian seems to be doing a pretty good job of human imitation. Makes sense, doesn't it? The Bethysmal Bishops are a highly intelligent and fast-evolving kind. There have been legends about this for over a thousand years now. The Bishop people. Bishop people? Huh. Sounds like the kind of nickname Paimon comes up with all the time. Well, this one comes from an old Ankanomian legend. When the Bethysmal Bishops were defeated, they began evolving to survive. That is to say, they imitated the victors. Eventually, this gave rise to a line of bishops who were indistinguishable from humans except for their pupils. These were the bishop people. The story goes that they gradually infiltrated in Kanomiya and took over many high-ranking positions. Remind you of anyone? We did hear that Sumi's pupils are vertical. Yep. In good lighting, you can see that Reptile's pupils are thin, vertical lines. That's hard evidence that she's betrayed you right there. But she's been helping us! She is just using you to get revenge on me. I mean, I betrayed them first. I formed an alliance with the Bishops. I said I'd plunge all of Enkanomiya into darkness so they could send their elites into the Dainichi Mikoshi and rescue their captive kin. In return, they'd allow the Abyss Order safe passage through their territory and help me rebuild the Three Towers. But they didn't know that the darkness of the Abyss was a terrible poison to elemental beings. So, they thought you had betrayed them? I mean, I totally did betray them. To be fair, it'd be pretty humiliating for the Abyss Order if we unleashed the power of the Abyss on them and they were just frolicking around with no side effects. You are pure evil! Well, here's where we are now. Once she's done with you, she'll use the power of the Dainichi Mikoshi to suppress the Sanga Coralia and create darkness to protect the Bishops. They are probably diving down into the depths to rescue their imprisoned companions as we speak. It won't be long before the source of Blood Branch Coral is completely cut off. Uh, poor Bethysmal Bishops. But still. If you still want to save Watatsumi Island, you're gonna have to hurry. You can use the mechanism I left behind to guide the light and dispel the darkness in the Dainichi Mikoshi. We don't believe a single word that comes out of your mouth! Oh, come on, guys. Do you honestly have another choice? This is just another fruitless trip to Enkonomiya for me at this point. But no biggie. I'm just a marginal figure in the Order. Unlike those who are falling over themselves to serve our Highness, I'm interested in more inconsequential things. Ooh, yikes, I think I'm all out of time here. I'd better go. I would say, see ya, but I probably won't. Here, I've got a parting gift for you. It's something I picked up at the Dainichi Mikoshi. Looks like part of the same set as the one that Kokomi gave us. Uh, wait, now's not the time for that. Oh, Paimon's so angry, he got away again. I can't trust that guy, even if he sounds like he's making sense. So, let's go back to Tsumi and ask her about all this. Most of the soldiers
it. If any bishops did come through here just now, at least no one will have gotten hurt. Even though, just thinking about that guy drives Paimon nuts. It seems we've got no choice but to give what he said a shot. Uh, let's get some light in here. This must be the mechanism he mentioned. How do we reach it? with nature. <laughs> the wind knows me.
Time to go. some sort of mutual understanding? That is not okay! The Dainichi Mikoshi should be accessible again now. Let's get down there and see! Time to go! Time to go! Into the wind! Time to go! Oh! Looks like we need to write this thing down! Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade. The Sigma Bishop! And dangerous ones by the looks of it! Guess they're the elites, huh? You know kind of the Adventure time! Right now. Emerge. Right now. There is no escape. Now you shall perish. One with nature. Right here. Now you up. Illusion shattered. Let's light it up. Wind strike. Teamwork is strength! Shine down! Inazuma shines eternal! After a careful head count, it seems like the baby bishops aren't here anymore. Guess they got rescued. If the Bethesda bishops really did come down here, that means that guy was telling the truth. So... Sumi really is a bishop person? But we still haven't seen her anywhere! Where the heck is she? Uh, whatever. Let's head back up. It's Sumi! Uh, what is she doing in front of the Dainichi Mikoshi? Since you came back, I'm curious to know. Did our rescue operation succeed? Some baby fishships were rescued before we got there, but the old and weak fishships went back in the water to hide after we defeated the elites. 
Um, Sumi, are you really a vicious person? I have no intention of explaining anything. Although I can communicate with you, I know all too well that interaction with humans can only end in betrayal. The conflict between our two kinds will go on forever. Before I leave, I'm going to destroy this light. Do not come any closer, and don't even think about trying to sneak up on me. This tower seems to hear my wishes. I just need to think the thought and it will change its brightness. And if I so desire, it will collapse before me. With the cognitive equivalent of a click of the fingers, I could destroy this source of great pain for the bishops. So why... why can't I do it? Oh no. This is way more serious than losing access to the Blood Branch Coral. What are we gonna do? <gasps> it's... It's a pendant in the shape of... Are those three entwined snakes? This pendant has been with me for as long as I can remember. Why does it fit with your two pieces? Don't be ridiculous. Are you trying to say that... that I... Paimon doesn't understand. This one is Kokumi's, this one is from the Dainichi Mikoshi, and Sumi's has been with her all along. <sighs> I grew up with the bishops. My only possessions were this pendant and a few boxes of books. I learned human language and writing from them. But not long after that, Enkonomiya was left without a single human being. It became completely empty. Only recently did I finally have the chance to make contact with humans and, and learn what the things I'd read in the books really meant. Sumi... There's a saying in your human books that I never understood until right now. People belong where they are born, but creatures belong where they are fed. I am a bishop, not a human. So I'm going back to where I belong. I guess the Dianichi Mikoshi isn't my concern. But we'll be back one day. Sumi is gone. Why did she suddenly change her mind in the end? Right! Kokomi will have definitely anticipated this possibility. That would be why she gave us the pendant fragment in the first place. Everything's resolved here. Let's go back and tell her. You're back. The soldiers briefed me about what happened. You successfully worked with a shrine maiden named Tsumi to clear the darkness. But then there was an unexpected change at the Dainichi Nikoshi. Is that so? Yeah, that's right. But after that is where things started to get all kinds of weird. Really? Uh, sorry, Kokomi. Paimon feels kind of bad that we ended up giving your pendant away. There's no need to apologize. As I said, Watatsumi Island has no further need for it. It's a relic from back in the very beginning when the Watatsumi Omikami reorganized the court and reformed Enkanomiya. The three pendants were given to the Dainichi Mikoshi, the Sangonomiya line, and the vassals of Watatsumi. The original intention was that the common folk, the officials, and the divine vassals would all hold each other accountable. But today, only the common folk have flourished while the other two bloodlines have declined. So the pendant is of little use anymore. Funny you should say vassals. One of the soldiers seemed to think that Sumi was one of those. But actually, her vertical pupils meant that she was a reptile! She fooled us all! That's not true. 
Vassals of Watatsumi typically take on a half-human, half-snake form, symbolizing that they are the familiars of our serpent god. At least, they used to. Over time, the vassals gradually became identical to humans, all except for the pupils of their eyes. But Vishap people and reptilians, they're pure fiction. There is no evidence for their existence anywhere among Sangonomiya's classified documents. Oh, so Tsumi isn't actually a bishop? The Watatsumi Omikami exhausted its power to create Watatsumi Island. And after that, it grew weaker and weaker. No more vassals of Watatsumi were born after that. But the records do mention the very last of the vassals. All our hopes were placed onto her. She was going to be the one who could communicate between the bishops and the humans. But when she was just an infant girl, she and her guardian shrine maiden were attacked by bishops at the border of Enkanomiya. Her whereabouts have been unknown ever since. Most believe she died that day, but some believe she was raised by the bishops. The people of Watatsumi owe a great debt of gratitude to the vassals of Watatsumi. Now that the bishops and Watatsumi Islanders no longer have a territorial dispute, I sincerely hope that she will find her way to where she belongs. Wherever that is for her. What a story! Still, now that we know how Blood Branch Coral works, I as Divine Priestess of Sangonomiya I need to think of a new way to counteract the Holy Soil Phenomenon. For the time being, however, the issue is resolved. And all thanks to you, Watatsumi Island will be at peace for many decades to come. I can't thank you enough.